please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole, and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new. And if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how I designed these in Canva and made them with my Cricut Maker. You guys, you can use this for any time you're giving someone money. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let go. Okay, guys. So here are some things that I got from. These are from Michael's, these plastic domes. I got these lip balm uh, plastic things from Amazon. They were running out, so I'm not sure if they even have any more. But I have a couple of them. I could use these for all types of things. But today we are going to be making those money car holders this money is also from amazon is not real so this will just be what's used for the video but i'm going to be using card stock or this premium color copy paper this is 100 pounds so i'll be using card stock or this paper to make it and if i use card stock it will be this one the recollections one 10 pound card stock both of these work fine so you can use either or okay either one of them will work so i'm going to go ahead and design and measure these to see what size we need and everything but first i'm going to go ahead and measure the width and the height so the width of this is about 3.2 okay for the one that i'm using and anyone you use make sure you measure it for yourself and then the height for it is going to be about 1.2 okay so the width for mine is 3.2 and 1.2 okay guys we are inside of canva and you guys know this is one of my favorite uh designing tools so i am going to use it i'll also provide a 30 day free trial for you down in the description if you want to try canva pro okay so i'm going to go down to we'll go over to custom size and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an eight and a half by 11 because when we do our print, then cut and Cricut, the paper, the card stock I'm going to use is going to be eight and a half by 11. OK, so now we have that. I'm going to go to elements and then we're going to see the size, the shape and size of the image I want to print out for the money holder. OK. We're going to use this rounded square. And then I'm going to just play around with the size. So we know the actual uh, plastic dome, the lip balm plastic I'm going to be using is like 3.2. So I think I want to make it about five. Cause it's also, so I have a little bit of. A little bit around the edges okay so I now I want to just see how tall I want it okay so let me see if I could put multiple no I wouldn't be able to cut out multiple ones on the page I'm just playing around with the size. Okay, so if you, I can do at least two on a page, if I did it four and a half and width and five in height. Okay, so you can play around and see how you want to do it, but I think. I'm going to make mine four and a half by five and we're going to see how this prints out and I can see if I want it larger or smaller or whatever. Okay, so that's going to be the size of the actual card holder and money holder. And then now let's go ahead and decorate it. So 
Okay, so I'm going to make a couple of these, but for right now, I'm going to make the graduation one, okay, for graduation. So what we're going to do is I could actually upload photos of, I took these photos. This is actually my friend from high school, Tasha's daughter, Lyric. Congratulations, Lyric. We are so proud of you. And I took these photos. So we could either put real photos in here she is so adorable we could put real photos in here or we can go to elements and just get some stock photos so i think i am going to go ahead and put a real photo in here so for this one i think i'm going to just have a white background And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert her photo. I'm going to, because this is Canva Pro, I'm going to remove the background. Anytime you see that crown there, you know it's Canva Pro. So I'm going to remove the background. And I don't have any idea how I'm designing. So you guys are going to see my full designing process, okay? From scratch. All right. So now when you do this, you want to be be mindful of the size of the lip balm or the plastic. Or if you're doing the plastic dome for Michaels, whatever you're using, you want to be mindful of that size. So I'm going to I'm not going to keep this for mine because I just don't want that hassle. But what I'm going to do is remember. I'm going to try to make the size of it so I can have an idea of where it is if it's gonna let me resize it smaller so remember it was like 3.2 in width and then in height it was 1.2 but for some reason this won't let me make it smaller so let's see height 1.5 with 3.2 so we're going to just keep it at the 1.5 because it's really 1.2. So this is just going to give me an idea of where I want everything, okay? And it's okay if it goes a little bit over her because it's clear. All right, those magenta lines, let me know this is the middle. Okay. And now one in the middle of the actual design. Okay, so now we're going to go to, we're going to stay in shapes. And we're going to grab one of these. Because this is going to be like where, how much money we're going to give. And you know what? We can flip her. Let's put her on this side. We're going to make this the one of the reds that's probably in her cap. We're going to go to text and then I'm going to put $100. You can make it whatever font you want. Okay, you can make it whatever color you want. It's completely up to you. All right, and we can make her a little smaller because we're going to put some words on here. Let's go here. We're going to duplicate it. Let's go to elements and see if they have a congrats. That's not congrats. Okay. This is pretty. And you can put whatever words you want on there. You can decorate it however you want. Okay. Mm. 
So what I do is when I make changes, I duplicate it so I can see both of them and see which one I want. Okay, let's see all the congrats. Because I might see something else I like. Okay. All right. So then now I'm going to see what text. Other text I'm going to use. You literally can put whatever you want on here, okay? Congrats, you did it. Elements, I'm going to get some. So here I'm getting some graduation hats. Now here's the problem that I came across. This is going to be a print then cut. So you want to make sure that whatever you're using, the elements are going to be inside of the frame. You see how that's like hanging over? I can't use that. So I had to try and I couldn't crop this. So I had to try to, now that I'm thinking about it, I could have saved it with the transparent background, then cropped it, but I wasn't thinking then. But anywho, you want to make sure that the hats are inside of the the um rectangle or square because you don't want it to hang over because it'll be messed up so right here i'm just resizing it and it ended up looking cute how i set it up um, because i needed to make sure that it was inside of that backing i hope that makes sense let me know if that makes sense to you guys okay oh i ended up putting them next to each other and that actually looked so cute so i was happy with the way that turned out i thought that was super cute and it wasn't too much because it wasn't all over the image right i like this congrats get a hundred dollars you did it this is really cute simple plain super cute i love it all right so i'm going to duplicate this and then i'm going to take this background and I'm command and C on my Mac, command and V on my Mac. And then I'm going to make a pink one. And then I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to get a tooth fairy. Okay. Because we're going to use this as a tooth fairy as well. All right. We're going to go back to elements. And I'm going to go to lines and shapes. And we're going to grab this shape. I'm going to make it white. Not that shape. I don't like it. <laughs> we're going to grab this shape again. Or this one. Which one goes better? Okay, this one. going to be a tooth fairy coming. I'm going to make it white. I'm going to go to text. And I'm going to put $10. So they're getting $10 from the tooth fairy. I know that's a tooth, right? Can't really see it. So maybe I will take the effects off. Nice and simple. Then we're going to put congrats, Maddie. We're going to go back to elements. Now you can design these things however you want, okay? I'll make this part yellow. I 
I'm going to change the font because you can't really see that one. I want like a thick. There we go. Graduate. Found on Etsy. The link will be down below if you want this font. And you can move this closer so you can see it. All right, you can make it whatever color you want. Congrats, Maddie. Okay. Now remember, oh, I deleted it. Remember, this is 3.2 in width and 1.2 in height. So if you want to put this one on there, you can. Okay, and then we're just going to put a cute little message. I don't really know what to put. A cute little phrase. You could literally put whatever you want on here. Um, Let's see, where are we going to put? I don't know. Y'all, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, We got to think of something. So, I'm going to put... Your tooth is cute as can be. as cute as can be we'll change the font here's a treat on me We're going to go to elements and get an arrow. Go to elements. I like this arrow. Make it smaller. Congrats, Maddie. Your tooth was cute as can be. Have a treat. No, here's a treat on me. Yeah, nice and simple and cute. All right. There we go. So that's a tooth fairy one. That's a graduation one. You can make a Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthday, um, any one you want. Okay, y'all. So we're just going to do these two. I may do a live and we can make some more if you guys want to. But this is real simple. Congrats. You did it. There's some money. Here's a congrats, Maddie. Your tooth is as cute as can be. Here's a treat on me. And then we can actually put love the tooth fairy. We could put that on there. And we can like bring everything up a little bit. 
can put love the tooth fairy at the bottom just want to make sure that it fits okay nice and cute so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to share I'm going to download with a transparent background okay and then we're going to upload it into Cricut Design Space okay so inside of Cricut Design Space we're going to go to new project we're going to go to upload we're going to go to upload image I'm going to browse I'm going to upload my first image under I'm going to select complex and then I'm going to select apply and continue I'm going to make sure that it's a print then cut image and then I'm going to do the same thing for the next image print then cut I'm going to select both of these images and what Cricut brought them in as is 5.711 by 6.355 that's what Cricut brought them in as and you can resize if you want to whatever size that you want now you can design these inside a Cricut design space if you so choose now you can make a circle on here you can make those little the little I don't know the correct name for it you could do whatever you want on here if you want um, I'm gonna show you what that will look like so if you wanted to put a shape on here you could do a circle or you can make the shape where it looks like it's on a hook it's completely up to you but just because some people may want to do that what I would do is we're going we would slice it so I'm going to select both of these images so I selected it I center horizontally and then I don't want that one in there I'm going to take both of them select both of these and then I'm going to slice it okay delete that so now it's a little hole right there just if you wanted to do it and then if you wanted to do the other shape you would take two shapes and slice it but this is just for the video okay now that that's out of the way let's make sure that it is the same size that was inside of Canva so everything can line up correctly okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that the width is 4.5 so it's gonna be 4.5 by 5 and this is gonna be 4.5 as well so that it can print so that it can print out like how I designed it inside of Canva okay so it's 4.5 in width and 5 inches in height for both of them okay let's go to make it once we go to make it it's going to be a print then cut we're not mirroring it or anything I'm going to press continue I am now going to send it to my printer my HP office jet I'm going to add bleed on there I'm going to print it the printer is going to go behind this we're going to have to bring this up I'm going to go to heavy paper and best quality and print okay so I have it printed out I'm going to place it on my mat make sure it's down on here okay load it and then I'm going to browse I'm going to search glitter then I'm going to select glitter cardstock I just put more just because and I'm going to do this for both of these okay 
Okay, so now I have that loaded. I'm gonna go ahead and let my Cricut Maker do the dust. And I did this for both of them. Okay guys, look how cute these turned out. Oh my goodness. Look at it. It is so cute. And this hole was a little bit bigger, but actually, no, it could be. I've seen holes that big. Anywho, it turned out perfect. I love them. I absolutely love them. Now, here's a tip. You could design these for literally anything. Birthdays, graduations, tooth fairy, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Anytime you're giving somebody money, you can make these. And you could have printed on the back if you wanted to as well. So let's say I could have printed all pink on the back of this or a design or whatever I wanted or all of these um caps i could have printed them on the back i think i may do a live and we can do some different designs but you can design these however you want so now what we're gonna do is we are going to roll the money up and you can roll it up whichever way you want remember this is fake money i got from um amazon but you can roll the money up don't get nobody no fake money y'all if you giving it to people, you get them some real money. Unless it's some type of gag gift. But you roll it up. And then you're going to just place it inside of here. Okay? You're going to place it inside of here. And now you do want to be a little bit careful with the placement. So you can use a glue gun or... Where's my other type of glue give me one second or you can use one we're gonna see how this goes oh my goodness i was almost out of the frame i am so sorry okay. so we're gonna see how this goes see if we could do it with this uh -oh. let's see if this can work oh yeah Oh, cool. I think I like this one better so I don't like burn my hand or anything. And then you can just roll the excess glue off. Yeah, I like that. And look at it. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Hold on. And then I'm just rolling that excess glue off because y'all know how I am with the appearance of things. There we go. Oh yeah, we don't even have to use a glue gun super cute all right and we're gonna do the same thing for the ten dollars you guys this project i think i'm gonna make this for like everything anytime i'm giving somebody some money christmas you know how cute a set i'm gonna do one near christmas y'all how cute a christmas one would look Oh my goodness, birthdays, anniversaries. And this is cool because look, we we have the we have the reference on this one. Okay. This is adorable. Uh -uh. Then this one, we could pull it up if we need to. it over some there we go perfect and if it's excess glue you can roll it off you guys these turned out perfect i'm in love with these i am so happy with this project and that's a wrap please like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns holla at your girl let's get closer please join our facebook group queen dreamer we love it over there follow me on instagram do dream one is the handle tiktok do dream one is the handle and i love y'all did y'all know that i think y'all knew that anywho y'all be safe out there you hear bye share and subscribe bye